Darcy, you made mention about people buying houses sight unseen. And the, the question that I want to pose to you is that all those beautiful listing pictures on the websites and those virtual tours, they're just really what the house presents. They're and, amazing. And the, I, I can lock, stock, and barrel just bank on those listing pictures. Eh. No? No. Okay. Wait. So. But marketing pieces, I'm not supposed to trust them? I know. Isn't that amazing? No. Don't trust them. So if you really, really, really like the look of a property in the video, in the walkthrough, mm -hmm. everything, and yep. you're able to get to the house, physically able to get to the house, do it. If you are not physically able to get to the house, send somebody that you super trust with your realtor. And if you don't have anybody in the area that you super trust to go with your realtor, then have your realtor do that. Go with you on FaceTime or whatever mm -hmm. system you want to use to in real time see the place. And if that is not a possibility because you don't have the reception where it is, have your realtor take videos and narrate what they're seeing and everything and send you those videos. If absolutely everything your realtor is saying is, oh my God, this is amazing and it's the best in the world, then maybe you should ask some deeper questions and talk yeah. to people that are going to give you both sides of the story because there's a plus and a negative to every single property. Yes. Okay. Uh, can I share my story? Yeah, I would love to. So Melanie and I, we relocated to Coeur d'Alene. Yeah. Right? No secret there. We bought our... Hey. It's just... I like it. <laughs> I, I, I do miss you, Darcy. I come over every month and hang out with my peeps here in Seattle in the Tri-County area. And, you know, uh, I was that buyer. You were. You uh, I was that were. buyer. So I had my agent over there, Jerry. Shout out to Jerry. Hey, Jerry. Um, had Jerry walk through the property for us. Uh, that market is not as hot as it is over here. It's hot. Don't get me wrong. It is. Don't get me wrong at all. Um, but Jerry mentioned in our walkthrough that the floor was a little squeaky. And in our inspection, they mentioned that the, the master suite floor is squeaky. It's, I, I'm curious if you can tune in. Do you know what made it squeaky, Darcy? Well, there's many things that can make it squeaky. What do squeaky. you think made it squeaky? Because I found out why it was squeaky. Interesting. Okay. So the things that run through my head yep. when I hear squeaky floors are, one, they're using nails instead of screws. Okay. Number two, they did not use the glue properly to get the floor to actually be down Adhere and here to the joists. Yep. And there are these special things that you can put through a carpet to actually do yeah, it better. We're going to get there. Um, what was it? It was a, it's a 1980s build house and they use particle board. <laughs> they use particle board as a subfloor upstairs. Oh, so everybody that walks around upstairs, you can hear the floor squeak, 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 because they did use nails. Um, and that Not particle screws. bores and, and hold. so it, it squeaks, right? We still bought the house. We love the house. Don't get me wrong. That was something that we explored a little bit more with Jerry. Mm -hmm. And from a distance, we decided that it was a, an okay risk tolerance Acceptable. based on, on what we, we knew about the house at the time. Love the house. It, it, talking to some floor folks, it's, it's a relatively easy fix. So yeah. I'm not too worried about it, but I had a trusted person. Uh, the real estate agent. We had the luxury of doing an inspection and we knew we were in full disclosure. So I think my point is if you do buy from a distance and, and afar and never step foot in the house, you have to feel deep enough that you trust the process, that you understand what you're buying. And if you don't buy the ticket, take the car ride, do, do what you have to do to go check it out and feel that deep trust that it's the right buy. And that's been really hard in this market that that things have been flying off the shelf. So yeah. I, we do have a, a common client that was moving up here from California that they he flew up one time yeah. and met with me and I showed him houses. And then he brought his whole family. They drove up here, the whole family, so I could look at houses with them. Aww. And by spending those two weekends with him and one weekend with his family, 
uh, they got to know me enough to trust me. So they didn't feel like they had to fly up here at a moment's notice every single time, Yep. which was the a great way to handle it because you have to have somebody you trust. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So super important. I mean, there's lots of listening. Well, you were making mention that um, <laughs> there's a lot of catfishing pictures out there. Yeah. So, so, so let me explain exactly why, though. Okay. I mean, yes, uh, there's like. Tell me. How pictures are done are quite amazing these days. If you and I take our camera, mm -hmm. be it a phone or a digital thing, or 35 millimeter for that matter. There you go. And take a picture. Old school. And there's a window, okay? Okay. It's going to be super, super bright in the window and dark in the house, okay. or it's going to be super nice and bright in the house and dark in the window. Modern day, people with the good technology that do the pictures for us real estate agents have a camera where they sit there and they change the aperture. So I think that's the oh, right word. Yeah. So you have different amount of light at different points, but the exact same photo, right? And okay. then they use a computer program to blend it. So you can see what it looks like if you're in person in the house inside and what it would look like to look out that window. So that's one of the reasons why they look so perfectly beautiful. Oh, look at this. Here's, Here's a great example. example. You and I could not get that picture to look that way with our camera. We just couldn't. Okay, you need to have this type of program. So there's that. Oh, the other really big thing. You can't tell smell from a photo. <gasps> there's no scratch and sniff? There's no scratch. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, I can't tell you how many houses that we've walked into. Is Jamie listening? Jamie, are you out there? <laughs> My sister. That would sorry. be a sister. Yep, she had one of those houses. Yeah. Um, I can't. Pets. Two of those houses. Hey, actually, Jamie, we need to talk about that. Your reoccurring theme of buying houses. Is there an odor? <laughs> I yes, love you. I will take it. Um, people don't think their house smells. Correct. For good reason. They're got, they've gotten used to it. They live there. As a realtor, it's my job to go in and say, hey, guys, this is an awesome house. It smells. <laughs> and I, oh, and my gosh. You said that so sweetly just, and just went. <laughs> I, I, I don't say it that harsh. I do go in and, and I, I go from room to room. And one of the things that I am assessing is the smell. And I say, OK, so you've got some dogs. We've got carpet and the walls haven't been painted in a while and it does smell like dog. I'm sorry. Yep. This is going to affect things. Yes, it does. Right. And then dogs is not the only one. Obviously, we are all used to the old. We don't see it that often. Cats, anymore, too. Dogs, <laughs> cats, um, birds can. I, I had a At home house. caterers that smoke home all their uh, yep, meats smoke, in the house. And smoking. It is smoking. Like yeah. All, all sorts of things that you could be smoking. Um, along with, I can usually tell when I walk in if a home was ever a hoarder house. Mm. Um, Interesting. In fact, I can, but I can usually tell from the, the driveway. But um, but you can't always tell from the pictures. Yeah, that's a good point. Because somebody cleaned it all up or right. somebody flipped the house and it looks sparkly and fresh now. It doesn't always smell it. So these are things that you need somebody that you trust to do and why do not rely on pictures alone right